Luke chapter 3, verse 3. And he came into all the country about Jordan, preaching the baptism of repentance for remission of sins. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash, double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's whole four elect scattered abroad. All right, I'm the brother Taz of War, back at you again with another lesson. And this was this topic, and this topic is uh, based on repentance. All right, what is repentance according to scripture? Okay, repentance is not Christianity in which you dunk yourself in water and a priest of the government, all right, you know, priests in the government churches dip you in water and he tell you that your sin has been washed away. That's not repentance, okay? Repentance, okay, let's go into the etymology. Repentance, re means back. Penitence, okay, means what? Repentance goes beyond feeling to express distinct purpose of turning from sin to righteousness. The Bible word most often translated repentance means a change of mental and spiritual attitude towards sin. And then you'll say, well, what is sin? Sin is transgression of the law, which the law was given to the Israelites. Well, who can repent? The Israelites, because the law was only given to the Israelites. It wasn't given to every nation. All right. On the earth, every people. OK, it was given to one people, which are the Israelites. So it says repentance goes beyond feeling to express distinct purpose of turning from sin to righteousness. The Bible word most often translate repentance means a change of mental and spiritual attitude towards sin. So when you repent, OK, your mental and spiritual attitude is 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 now for righteousness all right it's now going against sin and what is sin sin is transgressing the lord's law all right and as a nation okay uh, of the lord's people the hebrew israelites we have transgressed the lord's law but we're in a time of repentance which the lord is closing the doors okay we in them final hours in which the lord will you know, redeem his elect, his chosen. So it says Luke three and three, and he came into all the country about Jordan, preaching the baptism of repentance for remission of sins. Now, real quick, do a quick definition search for remission. If someone who has had a serious disease such as cancer is in remission, or if the disease is in remission, the disease has been controlled so that they are not as ill as they were. Said so brain scans have confirmed that the disease is in remission. Hmm. If someone in prison gets remission, their prison sentence is reduced. Okay, so it says remission. Now, let me go to the blue letter. Let's see what repentance say real quick. The blue letter, change of mind as it appears to one who repents of a purpose he has formed or of something he has done okay to turn back you know from wickedness to convert to righteousness which only an israelite can do according to scripture all right so all right let me continue to look up remission real quick bear with me this is on the fly i didn't you know look this stuff up just yet before the lesson, remission, release, release from bondage or imprisonment. Mm. And that's what we want to be released from bondage or imprisonment. Cause right now we're in prison. We're in prison. All right. Spiritually. Okay. Mentally, because we're in these, uh, chains of darkness, which is these bodies. All right. No matter how much we do, right. We always go off. All right. The scriptures say we all fall short of the glory of the most high. You know, it's our minds that be willing. Okay. You know, the scriptures say the, the uh, spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Roughly paraphrasing. All right. I'll get that scripture in a minute. Um, we are in prison because we're in captivity. All right. We're, we're sent. We're, we're set to serve our enemies right now. All right. We're also 
you know, also this system, all right, that Esau set up is imprisonment. It's a pit, okay, something we can't get out of, right? And um, you can see this, 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 this system now, 2021, all right, is um, is the new B system, all right, where everything is de dealing with tracing, tracking, all right, um, transhumanism, G uh, DNA editing, okay, uh, 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 pad, you got to have a pass to do anything, you got to have a barcode, all right, the mark of the beast, which is, uh, which is uh, yet, which that mark of the beast is the RFID microchip now. You know, that's another topic because uh can't really talk about the uh, the J.A.B.B., you know, in the past behind it. People are saying this is that's the mark of the beast. But, you know, when you look that word mark, it goes into karagma, which the root word is karaks. All right. And it means something incision and planted under the arm. All right. So we know that the mark of the beast is the RFID microchip. Or any other name of a microchip that's inserted inside the body to become a transhuman. All right. Just like that uh, Elon Musk. Uh, Elon Musk Neuralink that goes into the brain. All right. So let me finish this. It says forgiveness or pardon of sins. Letting them go as if they had never been committed. Remission of the penalty. And what is the penalty that came upon us? What penalty we we uh, was charged with with breaking the law, the laws, the statutes of the Most High? All right. So we want remission. And who's given re uh, remission of our sins? That's Yahweh Shai. Okay. So true repentance is to the Israelites. All right. Matter of fact, I'm thinking of a scripture. Uh, let's see if I can go to it real quick. Just to prove that, because I know someone's going to have a heart attack, you know. Oh, my God. Uh, repentance is for everyone. Uh, let's see here. Okay, this is Psalms 147 and 19. He showeth his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He hath not dealt so with any nation. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai. All right. So uh, let me just go back to the book of Luke. Again, three and three. It says, and he, and he came into all the country about Jordan, preaching the baptism of repentance for remission of sins. All right. So now that we have the understanding of repentance and remission, Okay, let's move on to uh, another precept here. Okay, let me go into the book of uh, Romans chapter 12 and 1. It says, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of Yahweh, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto Yahweh, which is your reasonable service. Okay, so what is our reasonable service? Is to present our bodies as a living sacrifice to the Most High, all right, to Yahweh Shai. And it says, um, verse 2, and be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what it is, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of the Most High. All right, so giving our bodies as a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto the Most High, is our reasonable service. So repentance is key. All right, coming back to Yahweh Shai and believing in Yahweh Shai. Remember, Yahweh Shai was the Word made flesh. Okay, he is the one that John the Baptist was teaching of that was going to come, which he came. Okay, he came and he gave his elect repentance and of their sins, which entirely will be all Israel, but starting with the elect. All right, so. It says, verse 2, and be not conformed to this world. What is this world? This world and this society. You know that today, this society is wicked. It's ran under the, the power of the wicked. All right. It says, but ye, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. So it's our minds that has to be renewed first. So now when you tie in the law, 
okay when you first believe in this this truth it's not about the law per se it's more so re being renewed in your mind so that you would keep the law okay because you already broke the law being a gentile in the state of mind so it says being transformed in the renewing of the mind so this doesn't mean being just dipped in water see john the baptist did that all right to to symbolically uh uh represent the water as the word the word was yahweh is yahweh shai okay which is this doctrine this uh gospel this good news so it says being transformed by the renewing of your mind that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of yahweh by Hashem yahweh shai so we have to prove okay in our flesh okay and and have deeds all right scriptures say uh have works paul said uh faith without works is dead so that's a cut on christianity churches who teach their baptism you know to be dipped in water and basically excuse exempt from the lord's law to do whatever they want all right that's not the case all right so uh read a quick precept back in Luke Luke uh, 1 and 77 this is straight to the point it says um, that he would grant unto us that we being delivered out of the hand of our enemies might serve him without fear and holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life and thou child shall be called the prophet of the highest for thou shall go before the face of the lord to prepare his way his ways verse uh, 77 to give knowledge of salvation unto his people by the remission of their sins all right and we look this word up remission let's just look it up one more time okay uh release from bondage and imprisonment forgiveness or pardon and of sins Letting them go as if they had never been committed. Remission of the penalty. So we're looking for remission. All right. We're looking to be blameless, unspotted. And that's why it's important to fear Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai so that every day we walk that we walk that path. All right. We walk that path, you know, in this straight gate, in this thing of ours. All right. It says freedom. Strong's definition, freedom, uh, deliverance, forgiveness, liberty, remission. Okay. So I'll read it one more time. To give knowledge of salvation unto his people by the remission of their sins. And that would be through Yahweh Shai. All right. Uh, okay. Let me go into the book of Acts. Chapter 13 and verse 22. It says, and when he had removed him. He raised up unto them David to be their king, to whom also he gave testimony and said, I have found David, the son of Jesse, a man after my own heart, which shall fulfill all my will. Of this man's seed have the most high, according to his purpose, raised unto Israel a savior, Yahweh Shai. So clearly it shows you here in Acts, the New Testament, there's a savior for the Lord's people, the Israelites. Okay. The Israelites, a savior for the Israelites. There's a promise. Let me read it again. And this man's seed have Yahweh, according to his per his promise, raised unto Israel, the Israelites, a savior, Yahweh Shai. When John had first preached before his coming, the baptism of repentance to all the people of Israel. And as John fulfilled his course, he said, whom think ye that I am? I am not he, but behold, there come cometh one after me whose shoes of his feet I am not worthy to loose. OK, and that was Jehovah shot. So John, John the Baptist was a forerunner to teach repentance and remission all right to israel but it was coming through uh the word that was made flesh which is yahweh shot okay and that's why we worship yahweh shot this is why we follow 
what Yahweh Shai uh, taught us to do. Even when it comes to the uh, Passover, we follow after Yahweh Shai. All right. Uh, let me get a scripture here in Ephesians. Ephesians chapter 5 and 26. It says um, that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word. So when John was dipping them in the water, okay, the water was to represent the word. And the word was coming on the scene, which was Yahweh Shai. All right. So the word was Yahweh Shai. So by John, before Yahweh Shai, before the word, all right, before the Lord started his ministry and to uh, give repentance to Israel, John was dipping them in the water because the water represents the word. All right. The water itself is not going to make you clean. The word is. That's why the renewing of the mind and being washed by this word that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of the of water by the word. All right. Let's go in to the uh, another one. John chapter three and verse five. It says, Yahweh Shai answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except the man be born of water and of the spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of Yahweh. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the spirit is spirit. Marvel not that I said unto thee, ye must be born again. You know, because this was going over their heads. You know, they didn't understand. They didn't have the spiritual mind just yet to understand what the Lord was uh, saying. All right. Because a man would think, a carnal man would think, you know, well, how could I be born again if I'm already born? Could I go in my mother's womb? Could I go in my mother's womb and come out again? The Lord was talking about being renewed in the mind and being washed by the word. So he says, marvel not that I said unto thee ye must be born again the wind bloweth where it listeth and thou hearest the sound thereof but canest not tell whence it cometh and whether it goeth so is everyone that is born of the spirit all right because it's the it's a spirit the lord sends upon a man all right or let's say an israelite woman an israelite man or israelite woman to believe and you don't know when it's coming you don't know where it's going and that's why it's very important for us you know, to fear Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai and to retaining and holding on to that spirit. Um, King David said, uh, Create in me a clean heart, renew a right spirit within me, take not thy Holy Spirit from me. All right, because when we have it, we want to hold on to it. You don't want that the spirit to be to leave you. Okay, so Yahweh Shai said in verse 8, The wind bloweth where it listeth, and thou hearest the sound thereof. But can it not tell whence it cometh and whether it goeth? So is every one that is born of the spirit. So we don't know, you know, who is next to wake up or, you know, to be of the Lord's elect. We say hopeful elect. You know, we understand through the spirit that if a man or a woman could receive this truth, then hope then more than likely they have the hopeful elect. You know, so that's why it's, it's important, man. It's very important to fear Yahweh by Shimmy Al Bashai. You know. Uh Let's go to uh, the book of John again. John 6 and 63. Straight, straight to the point. Uh, it says, um, It is the spirit that quickeneth. The flesh profiteth nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. You see? So it's the spirit that quickeneth. It's the spirit that's, with, that's in you that the Lord sends upon you. All right, upon your spirit so that you be renewed in the mind okay so that you repent all right to turn from sin what is sin transgressing against the law statutes and commandments all right it says it is the spirit that quickeneth the flesh profits nothing so it's not about this flesh we're in sinful flesh we're in the chains of darkness we're trapped and that's why we need a savior. That's why we're crying out for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. The scriptures say, give the Lord no rest until he establish the kingdom. We, as Israelites, need a savior. Esau don't need a savior. Moab don't need a savior. 
Ishmael don't need a savior. Japheth don't need a savior. Ham don't need a savior. The Israelites need a savior. We're yet in our captivity to this day. So it says the flesh profit nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. You see? So it's all about the spirit, man. Live more for the spirit than you do for the flesh. Try to balance. You know, that's why we pray. For balance, you know. Okay, let me go to John 7 and jump down here to verse 37. It says, in the last day, that great day of the feast, Yahweh Shai stood and cried, saying, If any man thirsts, let him come unto me and drink. He that believeth on me, as the scriptures have said, out of his mouth shall flow rivers of living water. Okay, so the word is Yahweh Shai. Right? These scriptures is of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So he said, he that believeth on me, as the scripture have said, not out of somebody's mouth that's speaking out of their own heart, saying what they think is right or what they think is wrong. But as the scriptures have said, and we know that Yahweh Shai was the word made flesh. All right. As the scriptures have said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. OK, that's just straight to the point. And, um, you know, that's basically the lesson. You know, Lord willing, I hope this lesson was edifying. Let me go back to Romans 12. And uh, I'll start at verse 1. Point is in verse 2. It says, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of Yahweh. See, the mercies. See, we receive mercies by being able to have that spirit to repent. You can't repent unless the Lord put that spirit on you. You know, it's just like when when you want to work out for an example right you want to work out you know in your mind you want to work out but but your flesh is saying you know i don't feel like it right now you know i'm gonna go tomorrow you procrastinate procrastinate you know push it off to the next day all right because your flesh is fighting against your spirit and your spirit you want to you know what you need to do but your flesh is saying no not not today tomorrow you know, and then you kind of compromise your, your mind end up compromising for the flesh, you know, and you push off your workout. But when you have that spirit to working out and it's just as for an example, you have that spirit of working out and you get up and do it, even though your body is saying, oh, I don't feel like doing it. Then you start working out, you tie it, your body saying your mind is telling you, oh, you should just quit. It's too much to take it easy for the first day, you know. But your spirit is saying, no, I want to go in. And then you actually go in. You actually, uh, when you start your warm up and then you kind of get through your first sets, you basically uh, take off those cobwebs. And once you got those cobwebs off you, you running like a, a, a machine. You know, you can't you, not now. You, you know, you, you don't you don't want to stop. You want to keep going. You motivated. All of a sudden, something else then came over you. You know, you into it. You going hard. Well, that's how we have to be in this truth, man. All right. So we receive the mercies of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right. To repent. You know, it says that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, wholly acceptable unto Yahweh, which is your reasonable service. Our reasonable service is to serve Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. So it's, it was, it's our right as the Lord shows us mercy. All right. Through repentance, we gives us that spirit to repent. It's only right that we give our bodies as a living sacrifice, wholly acceptable unto the Most High. Now, verse two, and be not conformed to the to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what it what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of Yahweh. So it's all about repentance. All right, uh, transformed by the renewing of your mind. All right. Which is the changing of your thoughts and the process and how you do things. All right. Uh, repentance is to uh, 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 turn from sin. OK. What is sin? Sin is transgression of the law. OK. Who can transgress the Lord laws? The Israelites, because only the laws were given to the Israelites. All right. So with that, I hope this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash.
Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.